Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group Weekly Update for the week ending November the 11th, 2022. Uh, all the best to all our veterans out there. Thank you for your service and in memory of those that we have lost. I have uh, several in my family uh, that come to mind today. So um, all the best to, to them, uh, but for their uh, sacrifice and service, we wouldn't be where we are today. Super week uh, for the markets this week for equities uh, and bonds. Uh, everything every morning poured back into the markets on both sides. Uh, bond yields fell 50 basis points yesterday and today. Uh, so the 10 years now back well below uh, 4%, back around in the 380s. And, um, uh, you know, so, so it's moving into a risk on in terms of a position because of the fundamentals and the technicals and the Dow. Okay. And also the uh, mid caps. Okay. Now, now the, uh, the Russell 2000, the, the uh, S and P 500 are building momentum. They're still downtrend. The NASDAQ's is well-established downtrend. So, you know, it's been trying to have some momentum there. So that's going to be iffy. Where's the fly in the ointment? The fly in the ointment, according to our friends at Chaikin Analytics, uh, and uh, the based upon data provided by the New York Fed's Consumer Debt Panel, uh, delinquencies, debt delinquencies, credit delinquency, people are, are behind on their payment more than 30 days, has an uptick in it, okay? It's because of inflation, prices are higher, uh, and so people are using credit cards to pay it. The credit uh, companies are increasing uh, interest rates as uh, we go along, that's for sure. And then also you have uh, in, uh, inflation still, you know, above 7%, that's not good. And um, uh, or at least above 6%, the, the data has some lag to it, but, uh, uh, you know, and then, and then you've got, you know, interest rates continuing to increase. The, there's no reason to believe that the Fed's not gonna do another rate hike next month. So all that put together, you have, you know, we have to trade the markets as they present themselves. And so that's what we'll do, we'll spend the weekend uh, ironing all this out and how to best mitigate risk and still uh, participate in this, uh, in this rally uh, as we go on. Now, having said all that, where's the safe money at right now? Uh, and where are those plays? We've got plays right now available to you. Three-year, three-year play. These are these are fully liquid, multi-year guaranteed annuities. Okay, Amigas is how they're referred to in the industry. Three years, fully liquid, 100% liquid. Okay, yielding 4.9% guaranteed year over year for three years. That's a nice play. Uh, if you want to go five, then you get 5.5%, and again, fully liquid. Okay, so there's ways to work these into your plan. And that could be very nice uh, for you, okay? So don't let cash sit around dead just because you're afraid uh, of the markets right now. We're likely, okay, I'll, I'll be the first one to say that, uh, you know, we're ready uh, for for a pullback. I'm still not convinced the math uh, it won't support, uh, you know, a lower level uh, someday soon. But right now we've got a rally. And so uh, the economy is doing what it's doing. I think the the um the crypto uh you know crash uh, that turned out to be really a speculative asset and to no one's surprise uh, around here and so that's going to have ramifications later on but right now we have to trade uh, as we're presented okay and so these are options uh, alternatives that are available to you we also have double digit options with uh structured notes okay we've got one structured note uh, on uh uh, the XOP that's going to close next Tuesday, okay? So those are $1,000 increments, that's all. 35% downside protection. We're going to have another one. I'm going, if you contact me for it, I'll be able to send you the prospectus as soon as the bank gives it to, to us. But that's going to look like around 10%, uh, give or take. It's going to be more. Uh, it, it, it won't be less, but 10%. I, I believe is, is the minimum. And, and that is a 15 month structured note on the XLE, which I find a, a much less risky play than the XOP. XOP is paying 17.25% annually paid monthly, okay? The uh, the 10% the 10 I think it's gonna be around 10 and a quarter, but I can't say right now until I get the prospectus. 10% again, paid monthly, okay? These are great, great alternatives, okay, with 35% downside protection. 
uh, worth taking a look at, okay? Uh, have a great weekend. It's going to be a little bit muggy and, uh, as this tropical storm works its way through uh, the greater uh, Atlanta um, area. But uh, anyway, there's a lot of reasons to stay happy. We hope you have the best weekend possible. See you next time.